Hello, this is the story weekly story time recap from Elting Memorial Library with myself, Margaret. Uh, this week we talked about thunderstorms, especially we've had a very rainy week. We've had a very weird weather week and we're due for a lot more thunderstorms this afternoon. So we read the book, The Rain Door by Russell Hoban and illustrated by Quentin Blake. And that was read with the permission of Thomas y. y. Crowell Publishing. And we also talked about um, what is thunder and lightning? Because in this book, um, we follow the character Harry on this very strange adventure where he follows the man who drives the horse lightning to make thunder and lightning storms. But we wanted to talk about what, what, it, what actually is thunder and lightning. Um, and, you know, it's a very, I gave a very basic explanation for my weather experts out there. This might be a overly simplified, but I wanted to give a basic explanation of what you can expect is happening during a thunderstorm. Um, and when you see big, dark clouds billowing up, and you start to hear thunder and see the lightning, what's happening is inside that big, big storm cloud are little tiny, tiny, tiny balls of ice and water. And mine look very big compared to my cloud, but that's so you can see them. And when all these balls begin bumping and rubbing up into each other, they begin building up electricity kind of you know when you make static electricity you start rubbing your head and it starts getting frizzy they're building up electricity inside the cloud when they're bumping and rubbing into one another and it's like the electricity in your house or outside in the power lines it's just a lot lot stronger and when a cloud builds up too much electricity we explain that you know when you're inside and you're so full of energy and you just have to run around and be energetic. You have to go do something. You have to go outside and run around. And that's kind of like clouds. Clouds build up too much energy, too much electricity, and it has to go somewhere. And it will either go to another cloud or down to the ground in a big flash. And that's what lightning is. So what about thunder? When lightning moves, it creates vibrations. And we explained that, what are vibrations, by doing just a simple hand wiggle. We started like this, and we made our movements faster. And we tried to make the movements as small as possible. And that's, it kind of explains what vibrations are. And some vibrations are quiet, like our hand wiggle. And some vibrations are loud, like banging on a pot lid. Thunder is a very big, very loud vibration created by lightning. And that's the basics of what thunder and lightning are. Uh, of course, very, very simplified. Um, but basic explanations work. So uh, we hope everyone who joined in today enjoyed our story and enjoyed learning about thunder and lightning. Uh, we are due for more thunderstorms this afternoon, so I thought it was pretty timely, especially we've had a lot of thunderstorms already this week. So, ooh, and it's pretty hot and humid, so I'm ready for some rain. Hopefully cool it off a little before it gets really hot again next week. Um, all right, that's it from us. Oh, almost forgot. The letter of the week to look for for lightning and you just might see some lightning today all right that's it from us for story time recap uh, we'll see you next week bye